Coding. Made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy tutorial. And this tutorial we're going to be talking about the actual system command. So I never got in, I never spoke in depth into what the system command did. I just said that it actually calls a command from the actual OS. And uh, th that is what it does, but I kind of want to go a bit more in depth into it. So what um, if you've ever opened the CMD window or the command line or uh, the the black window, which I will open up right now. Uh, so the command prompt, you will get uh, this black little window right here. And if you've ever used something like Linux or something, this is kind of like the Windows version of a, of a terminal. Or something and don't worry if you you if you haven't used Linux before uh, I will I'll explain it but basically uh, back before Windows was actually graphics based you had to do you had to do things through command prompts and so if you want to search through the directories you had to do different commands and so on and so forth and uh, Windows still has this feature because sometimes it is faster to use the command prompt than actually using graphical stuff and it's there for backwards compatibility, I believe. Um, so if I was to do a command like dir, it could show the di directory and stuff. And if I was to do like a tree command, it would show the different things, my different folders in a tree like fat, in tree like fashion, uh, fashion, sorry. And um, you can do a lot of different things um, with the CMD window. You can get directories, um, do a lot of things with it. And a cool thing I do is with some of my games, what I do is I use a system command to actually get the directories, um, get a directory, um, get all the files in a certain directory, sorry, save them in a text file, and then load that text file, and so I can load all my images into the game from a certain directory. And um, there's a lot of cool things you can do with the system command if you know how to use it properly. Now, so the system command allows you to run certain commands that you can run in the DOS window. Now, I'm not going to be teaching you DOS window commands. That's up to you to research, but I was just informing you about that. Now, one thing about the system command is that they are not linked. So, for example, I could say uh, pause here, and as you can see, when I say pause, it says press any key to continue just like it does in our program. And I can do uh, CLS to clear screen and so on and so forth, and they chain together. It's kind of like chained commands. And the system command, once it's done this command, it reverts back to the original settings of the DOS window. That's how the system works in C++. But if, for example, instead of doing system pause, we could do um, um, test, and then we could do another pause and now we can clear the screen and then last pause and what that's doing is uh, we're so it's gonna press any key press any key again it's gonna clear the screen and then it's going to exit so by doing that we're running a chain of system commands and if I was to say, for example, they say do type in tree, press enter, and I guess that's what the tree command does for here. I guess it doesn't show the whole thing. Um, but if I was to do say dir or oh no, wait, maybe I have nothing else in my tree. If I was to do dir, you can see the different things in my directory and so on and so forth. So by using the system command, you can manipulate the system and actually traverse through different folders and so on and so forth. So I know I didn't really go into depth in the Windows commands. That's for you guys to study because that is not C++ based. But I thought it would be interesting for you guys to know exactly how it works and what's going on. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And bye for now.